Happy Vlogmas and welcome to my kitchen. And today we're gonna make Christmas cookies. It's not really your typical Christmas cookie. This is a cooie that you can make any time of the year. It is ooey and gooey and crispy and oh so perfect. And it has cashews, toffee and chocolate chips and oatmeal and it is to die for. Let's bake some cookies together. So it is a rainy, gloomy, poopy day here. We're all just hanging around in our pajamas and I heard my husband in the kitchen rustle around in the cabinets and he came in and announced he wanted some cookies and he had already checked to make sure that we had all the ingredients. So here I am, impromptu cookie making. Instead of getting out all my fancy things and doing a fancy cooking video, I'm gonna put the full recipe in the description box below this video, and I'm gonna tell you the measurements and the ingredients for everything as we're baking it. So are you ready? Here we go. So you need a small little bowl just like this, and we're gonna add all of our dry ingredients to the bowl. You need a quarter cup of old-fashioned oats, not instant. one and an eighth cup of all-purpose flour, and an eighth of a cup is two tablespoons. A half of a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So just give that a light little mix and we're gonna set this aside. In a really large mixing bowl, we're gonna add one stick of room temperature butter, and you do need it to be room temperature. A half a cup of firmly packed brown sugar. Like that. And another half a cup of granulated sugar. And you want to use an electric mixer to mix your butter and your sugars together until everything is incorporated. And it's going to be fluffy when we're finished. So once your ingredients are all incorporated and fluffy, we're going to add in one egg. and half of a teaspoon of vanilla. Then we're gonna use our electric mixer and mix that until everything is incorporated. Then we're gonna take our bowl of dry ingredients and we're gonna add a little bit at a time using the electric mixer every time to stir everything up. And by the final time you mix it, it does start to get really thick. Then I wanna scrape all this off of here, so I'm just gonna use my clean hands and not miss out on any of that cookie goodness. 
So I'm going to add an extra step to my recipe at this point. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but because I have dogs, they are going to want a cookie. And so I'm going to get some of the batter out at this point before I add all my chocolate and my nuts, which dogs cannot have. I'm going to get some batter out just for them so that they have their own special little cookie. Just like that. Proceed on. At this point, I'm gonna add my sweets. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of crushed Heath Bar bits. Looks like that. Three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips, and you can use semi-sweet, dark. I'm gonna use milk chocolate. You need three quarters of a cup. and you need a half a cup of cashews. And you wanna take a regular spoon and just stir this by hand. So you want to get a huge sheet pan and you also want to have your oven preheated to 325 degrees so it's ready to go. So I'm going to take my cookie batter and I'm going to put it in very small dollops on my sheet pan. And by small dollop, I mean about like this because the cookies are going to flatten and spread out when you cook them. So you really do not want a big cookie. So it's about like that in the palm of my hand. And space them a pretty good amount apart. So I've got 14 cookies on my sheet pan and I left a spot because I'm gonna put cookies for Maxie and Pollux on here. But I do have plenty of dough left so I'm gonna end up having to bake two pans. So this is for them. I gotta get theirs on here on the first tray or they'll be upset with me. So this is what my sheet pan looks like. I've got plenty of room between my cookies and again, just little dollops. And then here's the one for Maxie and Pollux. So I'm gonna put the sheet pan in the oven. My oven is preheated to 325 degrees and I wanna bake my cookies for about 15 minutes. So look at that. I told you they were really gonna grow when you cook them. And I ended up having mine in the oven for 18 minutes. And I wanna let them sit on the baking sheet for two minutes before I try to get them onto my cooling rack so that they don't break. And you definitely want to put them on a cooling rack and they'll properly cool. And then here's my cookies for Maxie and Pollux. Are you waiting for your cookie? <laughs> this is what they look like. See how brown and crispy and thin and perfectly cooked on the bottom. Oh my gosh, but you can see the cashews, the chocolate chip, and when you bite into these cookies and the Heath bar, oh me. And then here's the dogs without the chocolate nuts. You're patiently waiting, I know. They got a cool Pollux. I'm gonna try to be fancy like they do in the cooking shows, but these cookies, Oh my goodness. These cookies are best when you eat them warm because they're gooey and the toffee. Pollux, you're just gotta cool. Trust me, eat a warm cookie. Eat three warm cookies or five warm cookies. That They are so good right out of the oven.
Mm. They're crispy on the outside, but gooey on the inside. Oh my goodness, and the warm. You can taste the oatmeal and the cashews. Mm. These cookies call for a glass of milk. This is my second one. I'm ready. I'm eating it. I'm having two cookies. Babe, are you going to come have a cookie? He is asleep on the couch. Mm-hmm. Maxie and Pollux are ready for their cookies. They are right here. I'm going to let their cookies cool. And I'm going to bake another pan of cookies. And I'm going to get myself a glass of milk. And I'm going to enjoy more cookies. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Wait a second. Let me tear them apart. Pollux. And Demui. Oh. Pollux, where'd you run off to, buddy? They love a good warm cookie, too. He took off with his cookie under the dining room table. <laughs> you gotta wait for Pollux to come back in. Just hang on just a sec. I know it's hard to do. Mmm, that's good. Little bites for Moo. Y'all, I'm in my pajama pants, by the way. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all hear them crunching? <gasps> cookies, cookies. Okay, box. <gasps> Yum! That's all I got. I don't have any more cookies. Y'all got another one though. We'll do it after dinner. But thank you for joining me in the kitchen today for my cashew toffee chocolate chip cookies. Make them any time of the year. Seriously, any time you're in a cookie mood, these are fantastic cookies. And I'll see you later.